it's time for Guys Talk Knives. I'm Andy. That's not Jason. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> it was the size of your melon head. <laughs> I figured that out when I put on the headphones. I'm telling you. Uh, so if, if you don't know, Jason did actually have a little bit of a heart attack. And he is recovering at home. This is a taped episode, so he may be back at work by now. He probably is back at work by the time this is airing. But Jason is out, and we wanted to prove that guys is unisex, right? It is. Guys talk knives. It, it is. is a, we use it like dude. Yeah, it, exactly. Right, and we get asked that a lot, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> No, 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 we, we don't. don't. <laughs> Actually, I did get asked that while we, John and I were outside filming this, and we had, I think she was 12 or 13 years old, and, and the dad asked us, hey, what are you shooting right here? And I said, it's a show called Guys Talk Knives, and then he steps back in and goes, she says, girls talk knives, too. They do. And that's why I said, guys is unisex. We've had ladies on this show before. We have. You've had me on this show I before. I have had you on this show before. Uh, we are going to talk Rough Rider today. Before we do that, I want to remind everybody that you need to subscribe to this channel. You need to click the notifications button and please like the video. That's how more people see it. So wherever you are, if you're on you if you're on YouTube, make sure you're subscribing to this channel. Make sure you're hitting uh, the like button. Make sure you're hitting that bell for the notifications. If you're on Facebook, just like us. You're already part of the SMKW Army and we're going to build that beyond that 93,000 out there. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, and it is the main place that you can find what brand? Rough Rider. Rough Rider. Rough Rider, you know what's crazy about Rough Rider? And I didn't know this until recently. Rough Rider has a huge following in England, in the UK. I didn't know that. That I did not know. Yeah, they actually do. And uh, if you go on YouTube and you start looking around for videos of Rough Rider, you're going to find a lot of people talking about Rough Rider like this <laughs> and, and talking about how good they are. And they're going to pretend they're from Australia, even though they're from the UK, because I just went <laughs> full Australia right there. <laughs> Rough Rider is an awesome brand. If you've not had a Rough Rider, you probably want to jump in and get one uh, and try it out. And you can do that because they are very inexpensive. They are incredibly expensive, and they're as good, if not better, than uh -huh. most of the other traditional right. folders. Eat the mic. Eat the mic. I'm eating the mic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they really are as good as just about anything out there on the market. The fit, the finish, the quality is incredible. And they take risks and do cool stuff they like do. this easy money knife. They d that is a really cool knife. There on camera too, you can see it. So here's the deal with this. This thing has actual U.S. currency shredded inside the handle. And I can tell you how this came about. We had another assistant before you who happened to, no, he shall not be named. He shall not be named. He actually was cruising around. He was actually cruising around online, and he found that people were using uh, shredded federal currency, the real deal, as like Micarta. They were they were grinding it up. They were putting epoxy with it, you know, which is? Cal California. California. Hates it. <laughs> They're Can't using epoxy, and then they were actually carving it down to be like a Micarta slab handle out of actual U.S. currency. And we said, why don't we actually take this mm -hmm. and put it under acrylic? Mm -hmm. So here we are shipping bags upon bags of Federal Reserve shredded currency overseas, and mm -hmm. they are putting them together. Um, give us the rundown on this. I think it's I think it's there in the uh, in the notes. Uh, genuine U.S. currency under acrylic handles, 440 stainless steel blades with half stops, match strike mm -hmm. pulls, nickel silver slant. Are bolsters uh -huh. on brass liners, which you know, cancer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, what was the price point on this? Did I put every that on? every pattern is under fifteen dollars? Under fifteen bucks, and and there are a bunch of different patterns it's in this. It's going to be between six and eight uh, patterns. Bet there's a trapper in there. There, I'm sure there's a trapper. It'll make Tobias happy. <laughs> I think there's a stockman, a trapper. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a straight razor. There is a straight razor. There's a, a lady leg. There's a lady leg. Uh -huh. uh, they're still on their way here, so we don't. I want to point this out while people are watching. These slant R bolsters are kind of awesome, and uh, everybody keeps asking this question: 
Why? What does the T stand for? There is no T <laughs> on this. Uh, the slant R is just a slant R, and then it's got an underline it for it, and it's Rough Rider. Yeah. It is for Rough Rider in a thing. This was a huge improvement to the bolsters that, that Rough Rider brought around. It is a slant bolster, pinched. It is striped. Uh, the embellishment on the front end actually has that slanted R, and uh, people are really digging that. Oh, yeah, it's because it looks great. What's really cool about the, um, the, 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 the Easy Money series, goodness gracious, um, <laughs> is every single one of them is going to be different. Oh, yeah. Because it's just shredded currency. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought was cool. We pulled a bunch to try to shoot them and, and try to see what they were. And I was like, oh, look, this one has a lot more on the front. This one has mm -hmm. a lot less on the back. And you can see the different bits when you really start looking at it in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see, I, I see the word state in there. But this is the real deal. This is not fake stuff in these handles. This is the real deal U.S. currency. Uh, somebody put in their $100 bills. No, it's not $100 bills. It could be about anything. We, we don't know what, what uh, level of currency it is. It's just what came back as damage to the Fed. They ground it up. Could be a bunch of $2 bills. I doubt it. Could be. Because nobody uses $2 bills anymore. Sit, what better reason to shred them? <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess you're right on that one before we hit the break i want to talk about one more yeah and uh john is showing me a two dollar bill <laughs> his has not been shredded yet it is his lucky two dollar bill anyhow we're going to talk about one more before we go to the break okay and uh i had to show it because i saw it come through the feed the other day as a brand new item on the website and that is the highland lockback I really like that one. Um, if you saw us before, we went ahead, and John, I'm going to go back up to camera one. We showed this Highland Bowie. It's 16 inches of a glorious Bowie knife. But the thing about this that was just gorgeous is the finish on the blade and the micarta over the red liner and red spacer with the brass offset in the middle and then the brushed bolsters and guard. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. They took it one step further, and they put it into this classic folding hunter pattern, lockback mm -hmm. pattern, and they've done the same exact thing. So you've got the micarta, you've got the red liners. If you look on that end, you can see that right there. Look at that craziness right there. This is a gorgeous knife. It's beautiful, and it feels great. Yeah. It, it really does feel good in the hand. You can feel that it's got a solid build quality to it. Of course, it still has the match strike pulls. Mm -hmm. um it, it the fit and finish is just amazing when you look down the top of that knife you notice this lock back here and unlike other folding hunters that are out there we've got uh the lanyard hole right yes. on the end so yes. it's a nice nice knife and how much does it cost 14.99 under 15 bucks for this you cannot beat that um and in fact i gave away a couple of weeks ago uh, a combo set of that highland bowie mm -hmm. and uh uh that lockbox background lock lock lock, lock. oh look lock at the lockbox oh lockbox very good <laughs> very good lock box. so we we gave away a combo set of that and here's the cool thing you could give that as a christmas gift i think that's 24.99 on the, oh yeah and it, it looks so like it's way more 25 than that. 15 if my math is correct that's 40 bucks I'm a C student. So, I'm an artist, so, you know, <laughs> we're going to be thinking off shoes to count up to there. 40 bucks, you give a great Christmas present to somebody who loves knives. You've Absolutely. got this matching set. You put these together like that. Oh, my goodness. What a great set of knives right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rough Rider is just doing, they're killing it. They are. They really are. So this is the point we're going to take a little break in the show. Uh, we want to remind everybody that we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. If you haven't come down and visited our retail showroom, you really need to do that. It's located in Sevierville, Tennessee, just off of uh, Interstate 40, exit 407. If you come up from the exit just about three miles, you, you can't miss it. You cross a bridge, you see the giant big blue roof, and you are right there. Be prepared to spend several hours in the store because we have everything from guns and ammo to knives to pants to shirts to downstairs. Tonka, to Tonka trucks. To Tonka. You just made me think of <laughs> Dances with Wolves. <laughs> so I to Tonka <laughs> <laughs> A movie you hate. I am related to this woman. I've been married to her for 22 years. So that's and the way it goes. All those years, I never made it through Dances with Wolves. 
And there you go. We are going to make it to this break right now. We'll be right back with more Guys Talk Knives. Hey guys, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, wants to give you two of these Backwoods Bushcrafter knives that we're featuring in this show. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to go, you can have the possibility of winning this hawk bill and this double lockback. All you need to do is put in your comments, I saw it. That's what you need to write. I saw it. And you need to like the video. Write the words, I saw it. In this thing, you could win this uh, hawk bill and this double lockback Backwoods Bushcrafter knife. And we are back with more. Guys, talk knives. <laughs> so you missed something before the break. I did. I meant to mention the easy snaps. Are you going to do that, boys? No. Or are you going to talk like you talk to me at home? Which is uh, screaming and yelling and, and everything else. Yeah, not allowed. So, yeah, no, easy snaps. What are easy snaps? Easy snaps are cool. Do you want me to show yes, it you here do in, it. The, in the camera? You do it. They're let's cool. Put the, let's put the knife back in because I think that. It's hard to snap with the knife not in there. Listen to that. <laughs> okay. So that's an easy snap. If you ever see that little dot on top of the thing, what does an easy snap allow you to do? Easily unsnap and it does. snap. You know, sometimes you have to sit there and work this. This actually has a little pry bar inside the top snap. And you can see that right there. If you, it, it just makes it easier to open on the fly. So you can just pop it. Uh, yeah. When I'm pulling product and doing stuff with it, I actually begrudge. She's without a easy snap because it irritates me. Well, you rip your fingernails off. You, I do. You dig under. If you're a dude, do. you're like ripping back the cuticle. I do. If you're a wuss like me, you just like sit there and scream, put your foot on it and try to get it off. Sometimes you mutter under your breath. <laughs> That's true. I'm just saying. I mutter under my breath all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> so we, we are jumping into all kinds of new Rough Rider stuff. Uh, and we have one more set, one more series that I just, I mean, I adore this series. I think they're going to just fly off the shelf. What do you think? I think they're going to be as big as the Kershaw Matrix. Copper. I think copper is the big thing this year. I think they're awesome. Uh -huh. I think they're great looking and I think they're unique. Do you think they're attractive as well? I do think they're attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him you don't like him, because uh, I don't. goodness. This is the Backwoods Bushcrafter series. It comes in a box that looks like that. It's a pretty box. Okay, so there's an idea behind these, and I actually am the designer on these, and that's one of the reasons I'm biased towards them, but I did do the design work on this series, and I wanted it to look, everybody goes, well, what's bushcraft about this? Well, it's not really about being bushcraft. It's about what would a Backwoods Bushcrafter have on hand that he could turn into a knife, that he could replace bolsters with, that he could put into a blade. What would that Backwood Bushcrafter's traditional pocket knife look like? I wanted it to be something that patinaed really well. I wanted it to be something that just looked old from the first time you got it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we came up with um, this gorgeous, these are actual copper bolsters. Yes. Okay. And they didn't even just stop there. They stopped, they put copper liners to these things too. Copper pins and shields. And the shield. It's shield the new up. it's the new Rough Rider Always Ready shield, mm -hmm. which is is brand new to their series. But these have copper bolsters, copper liners, copper pins, and copper shields. Mm -hmm. If you don't know anything about copper at all, let me just tell you. You can just set this knife out on your desk, like I did the sample for three to four months, and it was already a patinaing down, patinaing down mm -hmm. to have this gorgeous finish on it mm -hmm. uh, the cool thing about copper is the more you touch the, these the more that you get your own oil onto them uh, the more they're going to patina uh, and, i didn't know that oh yeah so the more that you expose it to oxygen and get the oils and all of that stuff in there the more it patinas and the more it becomes your knife it's right. not going to look like anybody else's knife the other awesome part about copper is hey you don't like how it's patinaing. You grab some case paste. You grab something else, uh, a little copper polish, throw it on a rag, hit it on there. It's back to this shine right here. Um, on the blades, on all of these, we put this stonewash coating over 440A stainless steel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I wanted originally carbon blades, and maybe we'll talk somebody into getting some carbon blades. Carbon would be awesome. Carbon would be great. Carbon is what I originally wanted. Because what, then, as you're copper patinaed so would your blade that's absolutely right and then we get the calls from people going well is my blade rusted <laughs> well dry it off dry it off as you use it and it won't rust 
Um, so or rust much. <laughs> That's a thing of high carbon. It, that. it just happens. But so, so what we did instead, we took this uh, black uh, stone wash finish. And to me, it feels like it's a tumble finish more than it feels like. I mean, so it's black, and if you look at some of these, they have just a little bit more of a, that's the, that's the uh, hawk bill. And you can see how it has, it's not just straight black wash on there, it just has a little bit more of a depth to, the, to all of that. Um, but what I wanted is that look, just like my dad's knife growing up, it was that uh, yes. high carbon old timer uh, yeah. that has just worn in and, and looks it looks good, right from the It thing. does. Of course, all of these that are not locking end up having the half stops. Right. All of them that are not locking end up, all of them have uh, the match strike pulls. Pinched bolsters, pinched lined, slant R bolsters. That's right. Even though they're copper, they yes. still get that pinched and lined yes. um, slant R bolster. You can see them on the ends right there. So how many patterns did in, in, I think they're doing in these? This one will be eight patterns coming. Eight patterns coming. And I bet by the time this show airs that these will all be on the website and ready to go. That would be lovely. I think you can actually go on to the website and type in um, Backwoods Bush Crafter in the just, search field and just yes. click Rough enter. Rider Backwoods Bush Crafter. You don't even have to put the Rough Rider there. Put in Backwoods Bush Crafter. You're going to see all these right to the top. I'll almost guarantee it. Um, on the table right now, if you've not ever seen this from uh, Rough Rider, this is the Folding Hunter. Folding Hunter. Uh, and that is a sizable knife. That is, you know, I think a good four-inch blade. I know the handle is five inches long at, at the, you know, right at it, if not that. Um, and the cool thing about these is it has a liner lock. You can see that right there. It is like the work knife, just a little bit better. Again, all your locking knives do not have, they just don't have the half stops. I think it's hard to put a half stop into a locking knife. It must be. Um, Hawkbill is great. If you are a gardener, you like doing all that stuff. If you like trimming up uh, the yard work stuff, a Hawkbill is always fun. And, of course, Tobias. Here is your trapper right here. One of the best-selling patterns and the biggest frauds of all time. Ooh, that's Ooh. one of the ones that's coming, by the way, since we're talking about the trapper, is a... Uh, Chopper, a pocket chopper. A pocket chopper. Yes. I hate that knife. I love that knife. It's I cool. Hate it. It's it is, got a it's got a small axe blade in it. It locks up. It's neat. Okay, it's nifty. It's novelty at best, but people apparently love it because we keep ordering the stuff. They're wonderful. Yeah, and then the other one on the table that I had that I think is unique. That's my I know favorite. that they made this in Colt quite a few times. It's the double lockback. Uh and does it have another name other than that? Or is it just a double locking blade? It's the only thing we know of. Is double so lock. imagine something that's almost like a muskrat that has locks on each end. I really probably shouldn't have done both of those out at the same time, should I? I'm going to watch you cut them because I'm going to laugh if you get cut. There's one. Woo, almost got it. Woo. <laughs> almost got it. So you can lock up both ends uh, and and really play with those. And That one's my favorite. Is it? Other why, than why, why is that your favorite? Girl pockets. Girl pockets, yeah. So that's probably three and an eighth. It's long, if I had to guess. It's big enough to, to do stuff. Right. But small enough, it still fits in my pocket. Right. So, what are people saying about Rough Rider Online? I know you get out there and play online quite a bit. Um, almost universally, everyone says that they are fantastic for the price point. Mm -hmm. uh, when they mention traditional pocket folders, right. it's always three. Uh, case, uh -huh. GEC, Rough Rider. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's a really good company at that point, right? It's fantastic company. I mean, because you're talking about mm -hmm. probably a price difference in general, Absolutely. in general terms of like 40 bucks easy. Easily. On most traditional pocket knives. Easily. Uh, I think people out there uh, tend to see Rough Rider as a brand they can rely on. The fit and finish is good. Mm -hmm. um, I think they know if they see something like that double lock back that they can give it a go and mm -hmm. spend 15 bucks. And if they didn't like it, well, they spent 15 bucks. And they could give it to somebody. Exactly. 
And it's the thing is, if they if their last time they tried a Rough Rider was one from oh yeah, I hate years seeing ago. that video out there because that 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 annoys me. Rough Rider's been doing this almost twenty five years. They are mm-hmm. getting ready to announce some really cool changes, mm-hmm. um, and they have really stepped up this game in the last five years. It, it, they if don't, you have something from. 20 years ago, or 18 years ago, or even 15 years ago, that's them getting their infant feet, their toddler legs, and getting going. Yep. And it's a whole other knife. Right. Well, obviously. But (laughs) (laughs) the quality of the knife has has just... It's exploded. So... Colt closed its doors, and they took on the Colt patterns. They took on the Colt quality. They said, okay, Colt was making some great stuff. We can make some great stuff. Mm-hmm. Not that the quality was poor before that. They right. just said, let's go one level higher. And, oh, right. by the way, we're not going to increase our price higher than that. Right. It is exactly. what it is. We are going to make these things happen. Yes. So we're going to wrap this thing up, and we're going to get to the end of it. Here's the thing. Easy money coming out or is out right now, links in down Let's in the see. description. Uh, Highland Lockback, don't miss that one. If you have a hunter in your life, uh, make sure you get him that. I mean, 15 bucks, good oh, grief. And what it's a, a wonderful knife. knife. I and like then it. my favorite on the table, Backwoods Bush, Bush Crafter. I really think those are just going to sell out like crazy. I think they're really, really pretty and really unique. I think I think you're going to see more patterns in that in the future. I think mm-hmm. uh, I think if we can do the talking right, we may end up with some carbon steel versions of those. God, could you imagine those as classic oh, carbon huge. series? Huge. So you got Backwoods Bush, Bush Crafter classic carbon. Going to be fantastic. Hey, either way, go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works website, smkw.com. Find the brand Rough Rider. You can find it at the top. Click brand. Click Rough Rider. Just go look at all the stuff that is there. Use your There's filters tons. down the side. Uh, if you are looking to try out a knife, Rough Rider is the spot to do it. Smoky Mountain Knife Works, mm-hmm. who brings you this show, Guys Talk Knives, is the place to go do that. If you've forgotten that we have flash sales every day, do that. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Every single day, we put up eight brand new items. I heard there was a Randall on. There was. I heard a Randall sold. They did. I heard we had trouble finding the Randall. That I don't know. I was on vacation. (laughs) We got it taken care of, though. This is Guys Talk Knives. We thank you for joining us. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, following us on Facebook, following us on Twitter. Make sure you are liking this video right now. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're ringing that bell. Thanks to Melina for joining us. I'm Andy. This has been Guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time.